What's going on everybody? It's your boy Dr. Goon, aka Jobbers and Goons, and I want to make a couple announcements. First, Tidal Wars the winner will be announced tonight for this Venom video. When I do a battle, or I'm going to do a random banger of a battle on this channel late tonight, and I'll announce the winner there. So you guys have plenty of time to go. Yeah, so check out the tab, comment your title for the video. Winner announced tonight. Looking forward to that. Also, something I'm now doing daily in my server uh, is coffee chat. Every morning from like 6 to 7 a.m. Eastern Standard Time roughly, I'll be up uh, in VC talking to fans about certain topics uh, related to comics, anime, all that. So definitely come check it out, free to join the server, and I'll be doing another chat after this live premiere. So definitely check that out. And if you want to purchase a video for your favorite character uh, or topic for any of my channels, whether here or the second channel, The Coffee Shop, where we just hit 2K, um, definitely hit me up on Discord. But anyways, without further ado, this is a goon video on um, Venom. I have titled it venom bringing the black symbiote energy for x amount of minutes i hope you guys enjoy and without further ado let's begin now first we will examine kind of like a hilarious reasoning for why he does the shit he does because when you really think about it it's not a good justification right so venom when uh back in the day he used to have this like obsession with the protection of innocence. Like, to him, protecting um, innocence is the highest of goals. Like, that's the pinnacle of what you could do. With that being said, we've seen Venom torture people, eat people, beat them up, throw them across the city, uh, mutilate, like, all these, this wild shit. Like, he's an absolute madman. Com committed, like, hall of fame levels of felonies and he's preaching to us about protecting innocence is absolutely wild so him like thinking he's the good guy and a lot of shit he does makes him a goon in itself because he really thinks he's protecting innocence next moment is a scuffle he gets into with juggernaut now this was wild because venom was being mad dismissive and disrespectful to juggernaut the reason this is crazy is juggernaut is considered typically like a team threat like a team buster level threat he's as strong as anyone including hulk and thor he's got the sidorak energy and he's a monster you just don't want to brawl with him but that being said venom was mad comfortable in the pocket and at one point was like yo bitch i am done with you grabs juggernaut literally throws him through several levels um and floors him pretty casually so the fact he was bullying someone like juggernaut with ease is insane and had to make the list now this was a wild moment because it was mad disrespectful and be a horrible way to go out so venom was separated from eddie and looking for eddie right as he's doing this he gets into a scuffle um with some criminals of course they're armed including having automatics when the dude raises his gun to headshot venom point blank venom catches the bullet right so venom catches the bullets right and this dude's horrified he's like holy shit this alien thing just literally caught the bullets not only that venom proceeds to spit them back casually so fast that he folds the person that shot him so that's right he literally spits like a machine gun and instantly killed this guy pretty casually too because like while he's doing that he's like thinking about finding eddie and shit he doesn't really care and he folds him gets rid of him uh by using his own bullets that uh were fired at him which is an absolute goon moment next oh by the way 500 likes if you guys want to see a part two to venom so smash the like button i forgot to give you all the like goal in the beginning of the video my bad but anyways getting uh back to this is uh <laughs> we have a funny 
Venom doesn't care about civilian casualty moment, right? So this moment, like I said, another civilian's just got to take the L moment, baby. So here's the thing with Venom, right? Spider-Man admits it in this moment, too. If Venom wants to fade Spider-Man, he's going to do what it takes. He doesn't care who's in the way or who gets hurt. With that being said, he's on Spider-Man's ass. This is a perfect example. He grabs a cap and is like, fuck it. Throws the cab full of civilians at Spider-Man. Spider-Man's like, oh shit. Has to make sure they don't die. But he can't even stop the check because he's literally about to get mauled by Venom. So the fact that Venom is like the king of using civilians to his advantage. Like he's, he's going to ball regardless of casualties or not. Makes it a hilarious moment for the list. Now, this me next moment is a part where unfortunately a security task force ran into venom now if you're a human with a gun stay away from venom like i don't i don't understand why you think your efficiency is going to go up or anything but we see venom go against the security team right and he's melting through them i'm talking about he pulls up on the first one and is like get out of my way bitch yeets him so hard into the wall that he literally died. And then it. Th what makes it comedy. Is that like just a few uh, panels later. He's like oh shit. This security task force might not be for what I thought it was. I thought I don't. This might not be terrorists. Like I might have just killed. Fuck it. Doesn't matter anyway. <laughs> like he just keeps it moving. Like Venom is a, a beast. Like he, he doesn't really care about casualties all that. He's going to keep it moving. One of the most savage uh, members of the Goon series so far. Next, we have a confrontation with Spider-Man. Now, as you know, that's his biggest op. So, naturally, he's always going to have run-ins with Spider-Man. But in this moment, it was pretty funny because of how disrespectful it was. So, he had, like, agreed before this with Spider-Man that he wasn't going to kill Spider-Man, right? Well, he got to going back and forth with uh spider-man was arguing and all that sick of that shit chokes spider-man i'm talking about drops a couple tendrils wraps him around his neck and rings his bitch ass out just completely chokes him out knocks him out and is like yo i did say i wouldn't kill you which is true but i never said i wouldn't choke your dumb ass out and was like got him <laughs> And so, yeah, this moment where he choked out Spider-Man and just, you know, put him down for the disrespect was God tier. Now, this next moment we have to appreciate because we always shout out jobbers when they get clowned on, right? And this was my boy Wolverine's moment. So, Venom's in the middle of mauling someone, right? Wolverine's trying to stop him. How's he doing that? Well... In the best way he knows how by attempting to end the life of Venom. So Wolverine's literally on his back clawing at his skull and stabbing him in the skull. Venom turns around and is like, yo Wolverine, I know you think like you're some kind of hero and that you're hurting me and that you're fighting and all that shit, but you're not doing anything. In fact, all you're doing is making me hungrier, dummy. And the fact that, like, Wolverine's best efforts just got Venom to be hungrier is insane. But, yeah, we can't expect nothing less from the big jobber himself. But shout out to uh, Venom for negging Wolverine casually and making it on the list. Now, this next moment was actually pretty crazy. This was when Venom got sick of the hacks, right? Venom might be a little hacks himself with the tendrils and the symbiote and all that, but... He's not trying to deal with no bullshit, right? Runs into an op who is using invisibility. Venom does not like that. How does he respond? He's like, okay, look. I know you're here within the next street or two, right? I know you're on the city block for sure. You're invisible. You think that shit's like gonna stop me? No, dummy. And he literally begins filling the entire city block with his symbiote. In order to catch the invisibility guy. So not only was he countering invisibility. He was like making it to where <laughs> the character had to panic. They're like yeah I think it was Daredevil. It might have been Daredevil using invisibility. I forgot how he got it. But 
He's like, yo, I thought this was an advantage, but uh, I'm basically getting folded because of it. And yeah, the fact he was able to fill the block like that was absolutely insane. Now, this next moment actually makes Venom look horrifying. Venom pulls up on vampires, right? He does not like vampires. Why? Obvious reasons. Vampires torture, kill, mutilate, all that to humans, right? They do it to innocent civilians. Venom's a dick, but he's not the worst, right? So when he sees the vampires, he's like, yo, y'all are the ones that think you're bullies, right? And he starts snagging them, pulls one over, and he's like, look, bitch. He's like, I know you've been cutting up civilians, torturing them, drinking their blood, all that shit. He's like, what happens when you run into a big dog, though? What happens when you run into the OG? He beats the fuck out of these vampires. Not only that, though, literally starts devouring their brains. And he's like, what's it like to feel like a victim? What's it like to be my bitch? Like, he's Venom's talking crazy to these vampires. And he absolutely mutilates them. Like, just the fact he's torturing vampires to prove he's the real big dog on the block is insane. And deserves a like from y'all. So definitely hit the like button. Ha, shameless plug. But let's get into the last moment of the video this is in my opinion the funniest on the list so far so venom was in the bank right bank robbers pull up venom turn he can shape shift if y'all didn't know because of the symbiote turns into a nun resembles a nun right and he's saying nun type shit he's like our father who are never all that and he goes give me the ammo turns into venom like right away and starts mauling the um <laughs> horrified bank robbers were, who were like yo i thought this was a fucking nun like what where the hell is this alien coming from so yeah him dropping bars turning from nun to symbiote instantly was comedy and yeah he balled on them uh bank robbers in one of the most disrespectful fashions so shout out to venom for that but anyways guys thank you so much for watching remember to hit the like button 500 likes for part two Again, every day in my server, I'm going to be doing coffee chat in the VC. Uh, come talk to the boy. So, And I'll actually be doing a session after this live premiere. So come check out the server. It's free. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. It's been your boy, Jobbers and Goons. And I'll see you all later. Peace.